what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's marissa here i know i'm standing today and that's like kind of out of character for me but i was not in the mood to sit down so i'm standing for this video but today's video is super 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 exciting it is a bullet journal haul now we have the new year new journal new scrapbooking materials needed to be acquired and I went all out at Joann's and I am super excited and super happy with what I found. So I cannot wait to really get journaling this year. I know this video is a couple weeks late since we're almost halfway through January, but I um, better late than never, right? So um, without further ado, let's get right into this video. So everything is in this big plastic bag. I do not know what happened to the Joann's bag that it came in. So I put it all in here so I would not lose any of it and I would be ready for this video. The theme that I was kind of going for this journal is more of a vintage style and Joann's had a wall full of vintage scrapbooking stuff. All right, so first thing on this list is super cool. I'm so excited about it. It is this um, date stamp and it comes with these little seals that have the different things on it. So they have the date in the middle and then they have like, the first one says details of everyday life. The next one is noteworthy moments. And then the last one is it's a good day to have a good day. And then this I believe was about $13.99, but they were on sale. Right now, tons of their Journal stuff is 30% off, so if you're looking for a deal, I really recommend going to Joann's right now. This washi tape, when I bought it, I thought it was just this kind of moon-looking, rainy tape, but it turns out they're individual little petals. So I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. Let me try and see. They're all little like, singular petals, which I think is really cool. I thought it was a full washi tape, but... um. I'm kind of happy that I picked incorrectly. So next up we have these little snippets. It's called the Ephemera Pack by Jim Holtz, the Ideology Collection, and it has 111 pieces. As you can see, just vintage looking stuff like clocks, there's some flowers over here, and then I'm not sure what the thing in the middle is. Oh, it's like a, um, a report card. And then there's like a, um, a count, like a map in the back. And this one is by the same company and it's just all botanical stuff, um, plants, flowers, everything along that line. Um, I wish they had like a picture on the back of everything, but they don't. So we just have all these different kinds of flowers and these two are not stickers. So you need to stick them down. And here we have, these are stickers. They're by the Heidi Swap, the same as the state stamp. And they're just, um, super adorable phrases and definitions of different words. And then in similar fashion, these are also phrase stickers and these are by the same company as the um, other scrapbooking stuff. And then again, by the same Jim Holtz brand, everything for the most part is by that brand. And it's just a bunch of different tickets. Again, these aren't stickers either, but you can easily glue them down. And again, we have more tags and these ones are probably supposed to be used as like gift tags <laughs> but um i'm gonna put them in my journal and on the back it does show you the all the ones that come with it um so you can see all the arrays of tags and i'm super excited for those and then the other thing i got this one is again by jim holtz and it is more of like a souvenirs so here we have like um tickets theaters butterflies some people I believe too. We also have, these are just butterflies and that might be a mushroom. I don't know. For the most part, yes, there's some mushrooms here too. But for the most part, these ones are just butterflies. And then here we also have all of them on the back over here. So moving on to the last couple of items. I am a big stamp person as we can tell by the date stamp. So to go along with that, I have the alphabet. And these are also on sale too. Normally stamps are so expensive for, I don't know why, like why, but um, they're pricey. And then one of my last stamps I have is this cute butterfly one. I think it really goes well with the butterfly um, 
decor scrapbooking materials we bought and then of course i had to get um one of these i have a pad but it's not this big it's a small one it would really only be able to fit this and it would definitely not work with the date stamp so lastly i just got some more paper um i have tons of paper but i was lacking some black paper and i think having the ripped black paper in the background with the stuff on top of it with a little like journal entry in the middle would be really adorable I've seen some similar things on TikTok and Instagram and they've really inspired me to kind of go more this path. Overall, that pretty much wraps up my haul video. If you guys want to see a video of me journaling or anything like that and showing you how I use them, let me know in the comments down below. Um, let me know where you buy your, your bullet journal supplies. I'd love to hear it. Always looking for more stores, especially Etsy stores. Um, I've heard good things about Stationery Pal, but I've never had the chance to check them out. So maybe that could be a something I look into in the future. But yeah, all right, I won't bore you too much, but thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, you should definitely like, comment, and subscribe. And then stay tuned for next time because there will always be more. So bye guys.